AI is a buzzword, and we know there are a lot of AI tools out there which can help you to enhance your business and to save enormous amounts of time. But not all AI tools do what this particular AI tool does. It not only generates, it not only gives you the ability to edit, it will also publish the generated content fully automatically to your WooCommerce or Shopify store. And in this video, I'm going to show you how this AI tool works and how you can start using it yourself. Now, first things first, in this case, I'm working in a WooCommerce environment. When I go to plugins, I have installed my Woosa.ai plugin, and I've also used the Woosa Fidaxel dropshipping plugin for WooCommerce. Now, what I did with that, I of course prepared this nice tutorial. I selected a couple categories and I started importing products. So when I go to products, you will see that I have VidaXL products imported. This is a dropshipping supplier. So basically this means that I'm using the product description and the product content the dropshipping supplier provides me. But that means that everybody that uses this particular dropshipping supplier will have the exact same product content. And that's what we do not want. So we want to make our content unique and we also want to optimize it for search engines like Google. The first thing I need to do is I need to push the product to Woosa AI. Over here, you can see the check mark. I already pushed these three products. So when we go to Woosa.ai and we go to products, we can see those products over here in the list and we can see that we have not generated the content yet. Now, if I want to push multiple products also to the platform, I can select the ones and I say Wooza AI push to, and then within a couple of seconds, those products will also appear in the Wooza.ai platform. What you also saw is that they also support categories. So when we go back to our WordPress environment, I can go to categories, I can select Tuin Meubels, which is garden furniture, select it, and then Wooza AI push to. And then within a couple of seconds, you will see that the category will appear over here. Now, first, let me check the products. So the last three products have been added. And now when I go to categories, we can see that also the category has been added. So we can enhance both products and categories to make it SEO friendly and to have a unique product description. I'm showing this demo with WooCommerce. But we also have this demo with Shopify. So when you go to Wusa.ai and you go to the apps, you can see you can connect WooCommerce, which is now connected, but you can also can connect a Shopify store. I will create a video later about that, but know that it works almost exactly the same. The first thing I want to do is I want to enhance this particular product. So let me search that product over here in the product list over here. And there we can see that this is the current description. Now, what we want to do is we want to change that description because this description is used by every single dropshipping supplier using Vida Excel. So we're going over here and we're clicking on the magic, not sure what it is, the magic icon. Then the first thing we need to do is we need to enter a focus keyword. Now, let me do it in English, of course. I will say garden furniture with a pillow and then the synonyms um, it's garden chair um, garden fatai, garden sofa and then I also can fill in the must used word. So are there any particular words that must be used in this product description? For example, your company name. Now I don't have a company name, but let's do a test company name. So let's say company name. And another must used word is perfect sunny days and summer. I can also fill in the tone of voice. Um, I want to have it casual. And I can also fill in the target audience. So uh, people who have a garden. And the output language is English, but I can change it in every single language I want. Now these settings are also configured in the general settings. 
Then the minimum and the maximum characters. This is including spaces, commas, and everything that's called a character. And here I can show what I would like to enhance. So I can enhance the description, the short description, the SEO title, SEO description, and SEO focus keyword. Now, when we go back to WooCommerce, we can see that we have the Yoast SEO plugin installed. And this is compatible with Wusa.ai. So it will fill in everything over here that we are going to generate. Now let's click the generate content button and there we will see our product description, which is fully formatted, including headings, subheadings, and also lists, which is of course the most common in product descriptions. Now we can edit this so we can say, transform your outdoor space with your garden furniture with pillow. It's a bit of a weird focus keyword, but it works for me. Um, comfort, dur durability combined, very nice. Easy maintenance for hassle-free enjoyment, product features, upgrade your garden, it's perfect. Now also the short description, relax on your garden furniture with pillow from company name, which of course we said company name, but it should be your exact company name. And also the SEO data, the focus keyword, garden furniture with pillow, perfect for summer. It focused on the long tail, this one. It's a product description, so that's fine because you will have a lot of products, which is garden furniture with pillows. So this is perfect. And then also the meta description and the title has been changed. Now I can regenerate, I can save it to draft, or I can publish it to the shop. Now let me do the last thing. And then you will see that it's published and you will also see the date when it's published. So let me refresh the page to see what's happening here. Da -da -da -da. I put an enter in between. That's apparently something I shouldn't do. Learning also myself. Um, but you see that this is an H1, H2, H2, H2. Here we have a list and here we have a sort of sub. So this is looking really nice. And also what you can see here is that we have the garden furniture with pillow, perfect for summer. We have it in the title and we have it in the meta description. And currently it's orange. And of course that's because we have a different slug and we have a different title. We do not change the slug and title at this moment. So if you want to do that, you should do that manually. Um, and that's because this is the current title, which is used by Vida Excel. So um, I would not touch that one, but we can, for example, copy paste it. Let's see what happens. And then also here. And then update. Perfect. Now, this is what we also can do with the category. So when we go back to the category and we go over here to the garden furniture, everything is empty. Um, and that's basically also what can happen, right? You don't have a product description yet. You don't have a category description yet. Now, when we go to categories and we select again, this particular category, this field will appear because there is no category to rewrite or to regenerate. So we need to have a tiny uh, paragraph that explains this particular, um, category. So garden furniture for, for the summer, um, cheap and expensive, uh, high quality and very fast shipped, um, enhance your garden. And then below we will have the exact same fields. Enter focus keyword, garden furniture, furniture. A garden, fur, no, a garden, sofa, garden, bench, etc. And then we have summer, garden, furniture. And we can again change the tone of voice. Target audience is home, home owners with a garden. And then again, we can select what we would like to generate and then generating the content. Now it's clear, right? You can edit it over here. This is the description. This is the focus keyword, the title and the meta description. Now we can change it. So I want to change this to garden furniture and then publish it to the shop. 
And then you will see again published. And let me refresh the page. It's now also added over here, including the SEO data. Perfect. So this is the best AI for e-commerce tool at this moment. I've tested this various times. You should test it yourself also because we've seen a lot of green dots in the Yoast SEO and in the Rank Moth plugin. And note that this particular AI tool is supporting WooCommerce, Shopify, Yoast SEO, and Rank Moth SEO. And they're still um, improving their platform continuously. So you can also provide them from feedback. Now, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, of course, leave a comment or a like. Um, and if you have any questions, you know where to find me. I will see you in the next one.